Hey guys, I'm at the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall here in Taipei, Taiwan. It's around 8 o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm here is, well, besides the beautiful view, if you guys are ever in Taipei, you gotta see this place at night. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, the main reason I'm here is that I'm in the mood for an authentic Taiwanese dish. Something I consider perfect for breakfast braised pork over rice. And I hear one of the best places to get that in all of Taipei is this place called Jinfeng Restaurant and it's located right near this memorial hall. So I figure get up early, I'm kind of jet lagged anyway, come see the beautiful view and go get some braised pork. It's 7.50, this place opens at 8. Everywhere I read it says it'll get packed, the lines are long, so I figured the only chance I'll get of uh, actually getting a space to film this video is to be one of the first people here. First impression, it's a small place, people seem really friendly. The stews, they are a stewing, the porks, they are a braising. And here's the menu, it's really simple, I love it when they have pictures. I'm gonna go for the original, the Lu Rou Fan, braised ground pork over rice. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a, uh, a piece, a slice of whole pork belly on there. Then I'm gonna get a ludan, stewed egg, because you cannot have pork over rice without a nice stewed egg. And I'm contemplating the pork brain soup. The only brains I ever had in my life is this one. Uh, I've never ate brains before, because I'm not a zombie. Also, if you didn't know, Chinese zombies don't even eat brains. We just drain other people's life force. That's much more civilized. This is the way you order in a lot of Chinese restaurants. You just check off what you want. Um, I don't see any English versions here. I guess you might have to just kind of play match the Chinese characters. So here's what I got. Large braised ground pork over rice with an extra slice of pork belly. I got some bamboo shoots, um, dried oily tofu, cooked uh, veggies, stewed eggs, and I went ahead and got the uh, pig brain soup because I'm gonna go ahead and channel my internal scarecrow. Oh my God, my brain soup just got brought out and, <laughs> and the auntie literally trying to scare me by showing me the brains. Um, I'm a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. This is the steamed bamboo, and it has little bits of uh, pork inside. I love bamboo. If you guys never had bamboo before, um, it smells a little strange sometimes, but the taste is awesome. This is the braised pork belly. Oh my God. I'm just squeezing my chopsticks together lightly, and it's just falling apart. Look at this, oh my God. This is a, this is a fatty piece right here, and literally, I'm cutting through it. See that guys? I'm cutting through it by barely putting my chopsticks on it. It's just falling apart. This is the old tofu. I love tofu. Nice, nice fluffy white interior. And I love it that they covered it with sauce. Look at this, there's sauce on the bottom as well. So you can always kind of dip your tofu in more sauce. This is the stewed egg. Check out the outside, beautiful color. Let's break this apart. And when you eat barbecue, you look for that smoke ring that's there at good barbecue places. Same thing, sort of, with a nice stewed egg. You see it's brown on the outside, a little white on the inside. That means the flavor has seeped all the way through. This is the braised pork over rice, and I just noticed something. I thought, for a moment there, I thought these were pickled vegetables. The, the white parts, no. Nah. This is all fat. It's more fat than lean meat here. And holy cow, look at the rice. The fat is seeping into the rice. I wish they gave me more meat. It doesn't feel like I have enough meat here, but Look at this, oh, look how far this oil, this fat has penetrated through the rice, all the way to the bottom. So all this rice is already seasoned by the pork fat. That's awesome. Bamboo, if you never had it, like I said, sometimes it has a kind of a funky smell to it, but this is cooked perfectly, not too salty. I think they seasoned it. I think the salt content comes from the shit's high. Um, the pickled vegetables that's in here. And there's definitely pork fat. And when you bite down, mm, nice and crunchy and that distinct bamboo flavor. Guys, learn from the pandas. Eat your bamboo. This is the extra order of pork belly. I wanna make sure I get some fatty content along with some lean meats in this bite. Get out of this world. Get out of this world. Holy cow. Wow, that's the best bite of pork belly I've ever had in my life. Like, not even a competition. Every other pork belly, I loved you, we had a good time, but I'm sorry, I have found my true love. Now let's take a bite with all fat. Did I just eat that? 
or drink that. Because that poor belly just did something David Copperfield was never able to do and his magic shows disappear. It literally touched my tongue and started melting. I get why now the rice um, has so much fat soaked into it. It's literally like pouring pork belly fat chews over the rice. Now the main events. Look at this guys. I spent a few minutes talking about the other dishes. Looks what, look what happened to this dish so far. A lot of the fatty pieces, you see this? It's gone now, it's dissolved. They sacrificed themselves to make this bowl of rice more delicious. Cheers. so good I want to cry. Tasting that was like watching Forrest Gump on a rainy morning after a Disney marathon. That's how much emotion that bite stirred up. I was kind of worried that there was not enough meat and there's too much rice but oh no. The flavor has penetrated every single bite of rice. It's like every rice grain went and soaked themselves in a nice pork belly sauna and then jumped into my mouth. I'll say this right now and I don't say this lightly. This is the best thing I ever had in Taiwan. My two trips here in Taiwan all the food I've had, this is the best thing I've had here. Only a couple of things can make this better. First of all, the stewed egg. Mm. They found the magical stewed elixir that makes everything taste awesome. Oh, that stewed egg was good. Hot sauce. And Taiwan don't usually have a lot of hot oil. They have a lot of like these types of hot sauce. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. The hot sauce they have here is more sour than anything else. Actually, it works really well with uh, something that's really fatty and meaty. It really does a lot to cut the fat so you can eat more of the pork and the rice without feeling like it's too much. This is the part of the meal I'm really not, not looking forward to, but let's do it. Pork brain soup. Let me just shred the broth. Wow. That tastes very brainy. Those of you who like bring, I know a lot of you too. This is my first time, so I'm not a bring veteran. Yeah. Permanently damaged me. It's not like the flavor is bad, it's not. It's just the texture of the brain. It's unlike anything I ever imagined. It's really, 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 it's too creamy. I was kind of imagining from the flavor of the soup that it would be more like, a, kind of like a liver maybe. It's a little more chewy, but it's not chewy at all. It just tastes like really soft organ tissue. It reminds me of the texture of the intestine, except for it, you can't really chew it. It just breaks apart and melts. So I've got to say, this will be the first and last bite of brain I might ever have in my life. I mean, if you like brains, I'm sure that's delicious, but that's definitely not for me. Instead, I think I'm going to get a second bowl of this. My second bowl. Oh. And I just combined my whole pork belly on top of my rice. Now I got more fat and more meat. Besides this place being super delicious, it's super affordable. A big bowl of rice, like the one I had, or the two I had. Each of the big bowls is only 50 Taiwan dollars. That's about what, like 170 US? That's nothing for this awesome, delicious bowl of pork rice. All the side items are only like 15 to 30 Taiwan dollars. Again, that's like a dollar. And if you do get the regular uh, ground pork over rice, then I suggest you get this one. 35 at 35 Taiwan dollars a dollar more get a nice big piece of pork belly for me everything I had here two bowls of pork over rice tofu bamboo extra pork egg uh, the brain soup everything together it's only around five US dollars that's an awesome deal especially if you think about what you can get for five US dollars for food what like a six inch subway sandwich you can't beat this deal and you cannot beat this flavor if you are ever in Taipei Definitely come here, Team Fung Guru. But get the pork over rice. You are gonna fall in love, and you might even cry. I have all their information in my description box. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.